and certainly any of our listeners or viewers out there, but he kind of basically suggested that, th that the nervous money is going out of Bitcoin. The people who maybe bought, who just can't handle the swings, they're down, they're kind of surrendering, a little bit of a capitulation. A, do you agree with that, that the nervous money is kind of coming out? And B, if so, is that a healthy thing longer term? Sure. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Obviously, Brian is you know, knee deep in Bitcoin, so you. And yes, uh, I've been sharing plenty of videos that says these bubbles are good for crypto. And uh, unfortunately, the speculators, they're going to come in, they're going to make their quick profit or attempt to do that. But long term, we need these bubbles. We need the boom bust. Uh, I need crypto to be cheap so I can pick up more and more <laughs> crypto assets. And like I said, uh, hopefully if you're having trouble, if you're one of the people that is looking to fire sell your crypto assets, uh, go through this channel. I have some great interviews with the uh, co-founder of Ethereum and other content that would allow you to educate yourself to hopefully hold. But if you're going to buy in this dip too, it's not an easy thing to do. So I really do feel like education is important, understanding why there's so much value in crypto. Um, and let me know your thoughts on this and hopefully I will influence you guys to continue to buy this dip and take advantage of these cheap crypto prices. Um, I do feel like we're not out of it. I feel like there could be obviously another dip to bring us under a hundred, a 200 billion market cap. And if it does happen buy the dip, uh, I don't know how much longer this will continue because eventually we will hit that bull run. And, uh, then the people that held and bought are going to be laughing straight to the bank. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.